Hi, I'm Tom Payne, presenting Oral Unplugged, Benchmarks for Offline Reinforcement Learning, a collaboration between researchers at DeepMind and Google. Reinforcement learning has seen important breakthroughs, including learning directly from raw sensory streams to play Atari games, solving long horizon reasoning problems such as Go, StarCraft II, or Dota, and learning motor control for high dimensional simulated robots. However, these successes rely on repeated online interactions of an agent with an environment. This is tractable in simulation, but often not in the real world. Power plants, robots, healthcare systems, or self-driving cars are expensive to run, and inappropriate controls can have dangerous consequences. They are not easily compatible with the crucial idea of exploration in online learning. Nevertheless, most real-world systems produce large amounts of data as part of their normal operation. Offline RL methods learn policies from log data, and recently they have shown promising results on well-known domains. However, non-standardized evaluation protocols, differing data sets, and lack of baselines make algorithmic comparisons difficult. Also, important properties common to real-world applications are underrepresented in the offline RL literature. We'll talk more about that later. This makes it difficult to assess the practicality of offline RL algorithms. And getting this right is important, because we know challenging benchmarks with large data sets drive progress in machine learning across many domains. For example, ImageNet in computer vision and GLUE in natural language processing. In contrast, a lack of clear benchmarks has hindered similar progress for RL in real-world applications. This paper aims to correct this, to facilitate collaborative research and measurable progress in the field. To this end, we introduce RL Unplugged, a suite of benchmarks for offline reinforcement learning. It includes four major contributions, a varied set of task domains, datasets with a unified API, clear evaluation protocols, and reference baselines which we will open source using the recently released ACME library. Real-world problems are diverse and require solutions that work across a range of properties. Our benchmark includes several task domains chosen to span these properties, including action space, whether it is discrete or continuous, low or high dimensional, observation space, whether the agent has access to the state of the MDP or high dimensional observations such as images, partial observability and the need for memory, whether the task requires the agent to estimate the state by integrating information over long horizons, exploration difficulty, which can depend on the action space as well as the sparseness of the reward or the horizon of the problem, and real-world challenges, such as action delays, stochastic transition dynamics, or non-stationarity. Here we show task domains included in RL Unplugged and how they map to some of these challenging properties. In a strict offline setting, interacting with the environment is not allowed. This makes hyperparameter tuning, including determining when to stop a training procedure, difficult. For this reason, we define two evaluation protocols with different rules for hyperparameter tuning. The first is evaluation by online policy selection, where we allow users to evaluate policies in the environment for the purpose of hyperparameter tuning. This setting isn't realistic, but it serves as an upper bound on performance. The second is evaluation by offline policy selection, where evaluating policies in the environment is disallowed. Users must perform offline policy evaluation or other methods for hyperparameter tuning. This setting more closely reflects real world problems, but it is open ended. We invite the community to innovate and find which offline policy selection method works best. For each task, we clearly specify if it's intended for online versus offline policy selection. Now we'll discuss the task domains and show some results. The DM control suite is a well-known benchmark for online reinforcement learning, specifically focusing on continuous control. We include a subset of the suite that covers a wide range of difficulties. For example, cart pole swing up is a simple task with a single degree of freedom. The difficult tasks include humanoid run, which involves a complex body with 21 degrees of freedom, as well as manipulator insert ball or peg which haven't been solved in any prior published work to the best of our knowledge. In all the considered tasks, as observations, we use a feature representation of the state. 
we compare baselines across the online and offline policy selection task. For the simplest tasks, such as cart pole swing up, D4PG, BRAC, and ABM are all good choices. But the picture changes on the more difficult tasks, such as humanoid run or manipulator insert ball. Strikingly, in these domains, behavior cloning is among the best algorithms alongside ABM, although no algorithm reaches the performance of online methods. This highlights how including diverse difficulty conditions in the benchmark gives a more complete picture of offline algorithms. The real-world RL suite builds upon the DeepMind control suite by adding a set of nine challenges that are bottlenecks to implementing RL algorithms on applied systems. These include large system delays, system constraints, non-stationarity, and more. The DM locomotion task tests high degree of freedom continuous control, while at the same time requiring agents to learn representations from pixels, and in some cases, such as rodent maze or humanoid walls, integrate information over time to navigate partially observable environments. Some of these tasks are too challenging for online agents to solve from scratch. To generate demonstrations then, we train agents according to Merrill et al. 2019, which uses motion capture data to pre-train motor skills. See the paper for more detail. Again, we compare baselines across online and offline policy selection tasks. This task domain is made exclusively of tasks that are high action dimension, hard exploration, or both. As a result, the stark trends seen before continue. Behavior cloning and ABM perform best, and D4PG performs poorly. We also could not make BCQ or BRAC perform well on these tasks, but we're not sure if this is because these algorithms perform poorly on these tasks or if our implementations are missing a crucial detail. For this reason, we do not include them. This highlights another key problem in RL. Papers do not include key baselines because the authors were not able to reproduce them. By releasing tasks, datasets, evaluation protocols, and baselines, we hope to make it easier for researchers to try their own methods on these challenging benchmarks. Atari games are another well-known online reinforcement benchmark. They require learning from pixels and include a range of difficulties. We categorize each task by difficulty when splitting them into online and offline policy selection tasks. Here we present results for Atari. Due to the large number of tasks, we aggregate the results. Off-the-shelf RL algorithms such as REM and IQN are competitive with BCQ, which is designed for the offline setting. The results also indicate that DQN is not very robust to the choice of hyperparameters, while other methods seem to be. In conclusion, we introduce RL Unplugged, a challenging new offline RL benchmark suite. We include tasks, datasets, evaluation protocols, and open source baseline agents. In the future, we hope to extend the benchmark with more challenging tasks and create a leaderboard to measure and track the progress of offline reinforcement learning research. Thank you. Check out our GitHub repo in the link in the description.